Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue triangle ABC fully inscribed uh, in a circle uh, with the center of such that uh, this side length uh, of this uh, blue triangle is 8 units. And moreover, this uh, AO is the radius uh, of this circle and likewise BO is the radius uh, of the very same circle as well. And as a result, we get uh, these angles. This angle is uh, 34 degrees, whereas uh, this uh, angle is uh, 35 degrees. Whereas uh, this angle uh, OBC is being uh, represented by X. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. And this uh, angle uh, X uh, as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We are going to focus on this uh, triangle AOB. And I'm going to label uh, this radius uh, AO as uh, lowercase r of this circle. And likewise uh, BO as lowercase r uh, radius as well. And now we can see that this uh, triangle uh, AOB is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, is radius and this side length is radius uh, as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle uh, is going to be equal to this uh, angle. So therefore uh, these uh, two angles are uh, congruent each 35 degrees. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem according to this theorem uh, the sum of three interior angles uh, in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, AOB once again. This angle is 35 degrees. Uh, this angle is uh, 35 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 110 degrees. Since the sum of all uh, these uh, three angles uh, is going to be 180 degrees indeed. And now let's recall the central angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle at the center is... Uh, twice the angle at the circumference. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, angle AOB is uh, 110 degrees and this is the angle at the center. Whereas uh, this angle uh, ACB is the angle at the circumference. And according to this uh, central angle uh, theorem, this uh, angle 110 degrees, uh, then this angle uh, has got to be half of that one is going to be 55 degrees. So thus our this angle at the circumference turns out to be 55 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. And here we can see our angle uh, ACB of this uh, blue triangle is uh, 55 degrees. This angle uh, BAC, this whole uh, angle is going to be 34 degrees uh, plus 35 degrees is going to make it uh, 69 degrees. And finally, this uh, whole angle uh, ABC is going to be X uh, plus 35 degrees. So I can write this one as X uh, plus uh, 35 degrees. And here I have copied down this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC whose all these three interior angles are 55 degrees, 69 degrees, and this angle X plus 35 degrees. Let's recall the triangle sum theorem once again. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, the sum of all uh, these uh, three interior angles must be equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, I'm going to copy down uh, this angle first, x uh, plus uh, 35 degrees plus uh, this angle uh, 69 degrees plus uh, finally this angle 55 degrees and the sum of these three interior angles has got to be 180 degrees. And now we are going to combine these uh, like terms. So therefore on the left hand side we are going to get uh, x plus uh, 159 degrees equals to 100 
and 80 degrees and now I'm going to subtract uh, 159 degrees uh, from both uh, sides uh, to isolate uh, x so this is gone so therefore uh, our angle x value turns out to be equal to 21 uh, degrees so therefore uh, our this uh, angle uh, x uh, turns out to be 21 uh, degrees and here's our next step i have dropped uh, this perpendicular op on this uh, chord uh, bc and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord so no wonder uh, this uh, perpendicular op is going to bisect uh, this chord uh, ab into two equal uh, parts and we know that this chord uh, bc is uh, eight uh, units so therefore uh, this segment uh, cp is going to be four units and likewise uh, this uh, pb segment is going to be four units uh, as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle bpo and now let's recall this famous uh, trigonometric ratio cosine of uh, angle theta is going to be adjacent divided by hypotenuse so therefore in this uh, right triangle bpo our angle uh, theta is uh, 21 degrees our adjacent uh, side uh, is uh, 4 units whereas the hypotenuse uh, is uh, radius lowercase r so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this formula so we got uh, cosine of angle uh, 21 degrees uh, equal to 4 divided by radius uh, r and now let's make an observation we know that cosine of 21 degrees is approximately equal to 0 0.9336 so therefore i'm going to substitute this cosine of 21 degrees value as uh, 0 0.9336 equals to 4 divided by lowercase r and now i'm going to tweak uh, this left hand side by just putting a uh, one underneath and now we are going to flip uh, both uh, fractions on both sides so therefore i can write this thing as 1 divided by 0 0.9336 equal to r divided by 4 now we are going to multiply by 4 on both sides to isolate r and here we can see 4 and 4 is gone so therefore radius r is going to be 4 times uh, 1 is going to give us 4 divided by 0 0.9336 and if we simplify our uh, radius r is going to be approximately equal to 4.285 units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle uh, x turns out to be 21 degrees and the radius is approximately equal to 4.285 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye